Oh yeah. Finally got a haircut. Don't have to wear a hat in every single video now, at least until it grows out. Probably next week. I had a lot of people asking recently, can you use an APS-C or a crop lens on a full frame camera like the a7 III? Short answer is yes, you can. Let me explain how that works. So, a quick lesson for you, as simplified as I could possibly make it. If you use a full frame camera, the sensor is larger, and it views more than the lens here is designed to view. So it's actually viewing the edges of this lens. So if you use this on a full frame camera, you will get uh, vignetting, you'll get the black kind of circle around the edges, or the edges might look distorted, the whole image might look distorted too. Now, on the a7 III, and probably other cameras have a very similar function or feature too, the camera will automatically detect that you're using a crop lens, and it'll only use part of the sensor that's needed to use the crop lens, which is basically how a crop or APS-C camera would work anyway. It uses a smaller sensor to view the lens. Full frame camera doesn't need that whole sensor, so it just uses the part that it needs to view properly through the lens and then get you your image. I hope that makes sense. You can tell it's doing it because this little symbol appears on the camera here. So you can see here that we're in crop mode because of this little logo just here. That means we're using a crop lens on the a7 III. I have assigned the C2 button. When I click it, we move out of crop mode into regular mode. Now you see all the vignettes again. C2 again, back in. So that APS-C lens will work on the a7 III or a full frame camera, but it's gonna have a 1.5 times crop and it's gonna look exactly the same as if it was on an a6300 or another APS-C camera. All right, so you can exactly see how the Sigma 16 mil here would look if I didn't have it on the crop mode, which is on right now on my A7 III, I'm gonna switch to that mode and show you. Whoa, there you go. Lots of vignetting. Really, really wide. I mean, it's the equivalent of a 16 mil now, but lots of black here and black here and black here and uh, not a good look. Let's go back to the other view. So there you go, that's what it would look like if you had the uh, crop mode turned off and you were just using a crop lens on a full frame body with no crop mode turned on. That visually probably does enough to explain the other stuff I tried to explain. Now bonus for you, if you're actually using a full frame lens like this, the 85, you can switch between crop APS-C mode and regular full frame mode. Now why would you want to do this? It gives you the ability to zoom with this lens which otherwise wouldn't have a zoom. So this 85mm becomes 1.5 times more zoomed in, which is like a 127mm. Now you can combine that with clear image zoom as well and go even further. You potentially go up to, I think it's like 250 I worked out to be, so 1.5 times the 85mm and then 2 times that. It works out to be around 150 so this 85mm becomes a lot more versatile. Yes, it's a prime lens, but you still have a little bit of zoom using those two methods I just discussed. Pretty cool, right? Now there are disadvantages of using a crop lens on a full frame camera. Obviously you're not using the full sensor because it is cropping it down, which means you are gonna be losing some of your quality. Not a big deal, not a deal breaker, but it's good for you to be aware of that. So there we go. Yes, you can use a crop lens on a full frame camera. Well, thanks for watching. Now, if I did teach you something today, hit that little like button down below. Let me know that I helped you out. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not part of it already. Hit that bell if you wanna be notified as soon as I upload anything. I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Love how wide 16 is. Look at this. Look at all this space. I think I need to buy a new lens. What do you think, mate? You like 16? What about you? Should we buy a 1635? Okay, let's buy it.